cell membrane. Okay, and then within the cell, all of the different components that we're going to write about, which there's not that many, um, within the cell is this jelly-like substance. So I think I'm going to color that in a different color. I think I'll color that yellow. Okay, good. I was making sure you guys could see that on their camera. Cytoplasmin. Plasm. And that's the gel-like substance that all of these different components sit in. Okay, so we've got the capsule. We have, then we have the next one working our way in from the outside to the inside. We have the cell walls. Then we have the cell membrane. And the cell membrane is separates the cell's interior um, from the cell's interior. Oh, oh, wait a second. It got so dark. Okay, is uh, used for separation. Okay, so you can see that a bacteria or a bacterium has a lot of different layers of protection. And then the last thing that we're going to write about is the cytoplasm. Okay. Okay. So then we have all of these other things too. Okay. So like if you're not done copying that down, you're just going to put me on pause right now. Then you're going to unpause and we're going to keep moving. All right. So in the diagram, we've got some other things. So of course we already said we've got the, the genetic information or the uh, chromosome. That's what this indicates right here. I think that I will just number these. Or no, maybe I'll just color on top of them. I kind of like that too. Okay, so we've got the chromosome, right? Okay, so we have chromosomes. I'm going to do that in green. I'm going to write these down and then I'll come back up. So that, yeah, I mean, I'll pull it up in a minute so you can see it. Okay, we have a 
plasmid, right? That's this right here. All right, we have a ribosome. These little things right here are ribosomes. And the ribosome also happens to be illustrated. So these little dots right here are supposed to be the ribosomes. And they're what is used to make proteins, build proteins, right? This thing right here is also showing what a, a bigger image of it is called a ribosome. You can see that ribosomes come in what are known as small subunits and large subunits, but we'll, we'll worry about that part later. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? We have the flagella. I'm sorry, flagella. Flagella is plural. Flagellum is singular. Again, I don't care if you use them interchangeably. I kind of want to color it quick. Quickly. Okay, so there is flagella. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have on here. We have what's called pili. I think I'll have to just make that in a dark green. These are the pili. That's plural. Uh, let's see, I think it's pilus. Yeah, pilus is singular. Pili is plural. I think that is, yeah, got that. Okay, so all I did is I colored the different aspects, right? And all I did is I, I went through and what I was doing down here was just writing the names of them. Okay, so we've illustrated what they are, okay, by the picture. Uh, and then we're going to go through and define what each of these jobs are. So for pili, I'll just kind of start at the bottom and work my way out. Pili, there's a little bit of movement. Um, pili help a tiny bit with movement, but the big thing that a pili does is it helps the bacteria um, adhere to surfaces. Okay, and then it is also used for the transfer of those plasmids. The plasmid that I said was the little extra piece of DNA that can be transferred from one bacterium to another. So pili, um, a little bit for movement. But really it is to adhere to surfaces, you know, to be able to stick to stir surfaces. And then that whole transfer of the plasmids. Okay, really the flagella. Now not all bacteria have flagella, um, but those that do, when they do, the flagella is the main mode of trying to get the bacteria to move around. Okay, the ribosomes are these little subunits that together help build proteins. We actually will get into the mechanics of how proteins are built later in this unit. The plasmids, as I said, are those little extra pieces of DNA.
And then finally, chromosomes are the genetic information. Info, information.